There's a key factor with the COVID-19 infections and the severity of the, the infections. And I don't know why it's not talked about more often. Um, and it's like, it seems like it's just being ignored. When that is vitamin D levels. Vitamin D is one of those things that it's best when you get going out in the sun and you can get vitamin D that way. Okay. Um, now I'm going to share with some some ways to do it now there's there's some things that you have to know which i've recently found out regarding the vitamin d and i found out i'm vitamin d deficient as well so i just want to share my some of my information that i found out regarding this and also all the studies that are coming out regarding the covid 19 um, pandemic and how it relates to um, all kinds of the, the vitamin d relates to all kinds of different things not only just this one disease um, but so basically if you have insufficient vitamin D levels in your body, in your blood, then the severity, the, um, COVID-19 viruses or anything, any kind of disease really, but COVID-19 especially can take a strong hold into your system and give you a more severe form of this disease and it could kill you. Okay, so the studies are showing that the, the people that are having more severe cases and dying are more deficient in vitamins, vitamin D. Uh, of course, you know, you want to have uh, all your vitamins, but see, you can supplement and you can get the, you can get a lot of other vitamins and minerals and everything and just regular food. But vitamin D is one of those things that you have to be out in the sun you can get it in, in, in supplementation, okay? But the, the levels in which people recommend is usually too low. Uh, it's best to get it out in the sun. You can get it in some ways in different foods, but your body sometimes has issues absorbing uh, vitamin D in different foods. So if you go out in the sun and you stay out there for, so like say, let's say, depending on your, your skin tone. So the darker your skin, the longer you have to stay in, the, stay in the sun. But basically, whatever length of time will be to where you will burn. So if you burn at two hours of being in the sun, then you want to stay half of that time. Then you stay half the time, so you don't, you don't want to burn, okay? Um, so you stay halfway to your burn rate then you don't take a shower or a bath with soap and water and wash your skin for a period of time, you know, hours or whatever um, after that. Because what the vitamin D does is it forms on the oils on the surface of your skin. And if you wash it off, then your body can't absorb the vitamin D. So you basically just wasted your time and your body doesn't get the benefit of the, the sun and the vitamin D that it just made because it doesn't get to absorb it at that time. Uh, so that, that's like a key information that I didn't know about. You know, if you're out in the sun and you're sweating or whatever, and then you need to come home straight home and take a shower with soap and water and wash all the oils off your skin, you're not going to absorb the vitamin D. Um, so that's like key right there. So there's lots of studies here. Um, just want to throw that out there right away because that's important information. But there's lots of studies showing how related COVID-19 and vitamin D deficiency is. And especially with the darker your skin, that's, that's something that is a big deal. Um, because if you are, if the angle of the sun is too steep in the winter time, it's very steep. Uh, the angle is very acute. So it's not getting enough rays to get to your skin to give you the vitamin D benefit. So in the summertime, it's, it's, it's straight up above you typically, and depending on where you're at. And, uh, so you get, you know, more vitamin D ability to make more vit vitamin D. But if you don't, um, if you have darker skin and you live in a Northern hem in Northern area with that more acute angle of the sun, uh, then you have to spend longer. So it's like really, really hard to get the vitamin D through the sun, which is your main source, your main positive source. Uh, you know, so this is like a huge problem. So supplementation may be the only route to get the adequate amount that you need if you have real, real dark skin. 
Uh, so the melanin is kind of like a like a it's like a sunshade. So if you think of skin like more or less melanin, me, the lighter the skin is more transparent basically. So it's not um, it's like a, just more it's like tint on your glass. You know, like um, the less the less melanin, the less tint. So it's like more transparent. Uh, but anyways, um, another thing is being obese being overweight, you have more fat cells on your body. Vitamin D is stored in your fat cells. So in order to supplement or get the vitamin D that you need, you have to um, fill up the store, the fat cells with vitamin D before your body can use it. So you might have to front load any supplementation and get a little bit more extra vitamin D going um, to go ahead and fill up your system. Uh, you know, if you're, if you're overweight, especially if you're severely overweight and you're deficient in vitamin D. So the only way I know of to find out if you're deficient is to go do have a blood test and, and have that checked out. Um, so yeah, there's plenty of uh, studies in the past, but also, you know, recently as well, uh, talking about the amount of vitamin D relating to the more severely sick people or just people in, that are infected with COVID-19. And um, so here's a little bit of information regarding how much you may need to take possibly as a, a, um, as a supplementation. But really the best way to do it is to just get out, especially this time of year. Um, and, and you notice like sickness is in the wintertime or worse than the summertime. But one of the things that's speculated is that people are inside more, so they're more closer together and they're able to spread it around. But the other thing is people are getting more sun in the summertime because the sun is at a less steep angle in the sky. In the sky. So when you do go outside, you have a higher chance of making more vitamin D, which is going to you know, give you an adequate amount to where you can fight off and have a more, a higher functional immune system. Uh, so that's another thing that can, you know, have these seasonal flus and stuff like that. And in the summertime, it's less than the wintertime. Um, so all these different factors is important to understand at least a little bit because vitamin D deficiency, if you get COVID-19, it's going to be a huge problem if you don't have, you know, your immune system at a baseline, at, at, at a normal level. You know, if you're deficient in vitamin D, it causes all kinds of problems inside your body. And, and just kind of opens up. So immunity, uh, your immune system is highly dependent on vitamin D. You may need to supplement it. Definitely uh, recommend getting it checked out with a blood test or whatever. Um, but it takes time to build up. So, it, you know, you might want to consider starting a supplementation immediately um, if you think that you don't spend enough time in the sun. Another thing is if you do spend... There, there's a couple factors here. If you do spend a lot of time in the sun, there's no way you can, the sun's going to over produce vitamin D to where your body is, you know, getting an overdose of it. Also, there is a, it's really hard to, it, it's possible, but it's really hard to overdose in supplementation. Um, from what I understand, you know, people have taken lots of vitamin D to, you know, as a precautionary thing. And it hasn't really caused any problems, but you can look into it for yourself. But anyways, hopefully, uh, you know, you can look at, look into this information. Um, you know, like they directly say vitamin D supplementation, you know, they advise it to protect against, you know, SARS-CoV-2 infection, COVID-19. So um, there's lots of studies. There's a lots of... Um, you know, experts looking into it, but this just, this doesn't seem like it's making it to the, the news media. They're caught up talking about other stuff that seems to be irrelevant. But anyways, thank you for watching. Hopefully this has been helpful and I'll see you next time.